Chicago Cubs fans. Hello. <laughs> oh, man, does it feel good to be a Chicago Cub fan today. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. And we're going to get to that of the reason why in just um, a little bit, but first and foremost, Cub fans, I got to be honest with you. The past couple of days, being a Cub fan has really been probably the most exciting out of the entire off season. Well, guys, with all of that said, guys, tonight is Thursday, January 11th, 2024. Welcome back to the channel of Cubs Baseball with Rye tonight. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. I am so, so, so happy to be a Cub fan today. Just so happy. And, ah. Oh. Well, Cub fans, you may probably most of you already know it, but maybe for anyone that doesn't. The Chicago Cubs got two guys from the Dodgers. It was a trade today, yes. And the guys we got from the Dodgers, Chicago Cubs received the number two prospect with the Dodgers organization, infielder Michael Bush and pitcher Yancy Almonte. Ah! <laughs> it is a good day to be a Cub fan. A very good day to be a Cub fan. And uh, right off the bat, I got to say that I I really, oh, so happy, you know, to get the number two prospect from the Dodgers, Michael Bush, who, by the way, I have a really good friend who is a huge Dodger fan, a very good, big Dodger fan. I've known him since elementary school. We've played on in baseball with each other against each other and you know what he uh, when I told him the news about this earlier today oh you should have you should have seen what he he really said but um I, I I really think he was happy for me but also not happy with his Dodgers you, you know what I mean but um yes guys Dodge the Cubs get the number two the number two prospect in the Dodgers organization, Michael Bush. Right off the bat, you got to be happy about that. Oh, man, it is a great day tonight or today to be a Cub fan. And you know what? The offseason is coming to an end really fast. I mean, next month we will have big league camp. We will have Chicago Cubs spring training. Booyah! baseball games, and you're not going to want to miss it. There is a lot of fun stuff we still have planned on this channel before all of that gets underway. So hopefully all you Cub fans are going to be excited for that. But um, And also to know the fact that I'm going to be at Cub Spring Training this year, and I will definitely be having footage on this channel, I can't leave you guys hanging, right? I can't, right? I mean, can't leave you guys hanging, but back to the main news, To it's just, oh man. And you, you know what? Shoto and Manga's official uh, press release with the Cubs is tomorrow. What, I, I don't want to ruin the day, but I gotta be honest, it is a great day to be a Cubs fan. And that, that right there is, official so if anybody tells you different they're lying to you but um yes Scott excuse me um yes very excited to be a Cub fan uh great day all that welcome to Cubs baseball Michael Bush oh man uh I don't know how many Dodger fans are in a good mood right now but 
Well, Dodger fans could be in a good mood because they got Otani and Yamamoto and Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman. So I, I don't understand why a Dodger fan, in this situation, they could be upset. But they still have a very loaded and stacked team. You've got to be upfront and honest about that. But really good day to be a Cub fan. And uh, I, I could be joyful as much as I wanted. But yes, guys. Uh, and you know what? I, I'm not going to hide it, everyone. I miss baseball. I want to watch live baseball. And all that will start next month. And you, you know what? It feels like it's going to be a long ways away. But in reality, it really isn't. It really isn't. So, oh, man. Good day to be a Cub fan, though. I mean, I've already said that a thousand times in this episode. But it, it really is true. I mean... Oh, I am so, so happy. I hope the Cubs uh, don't do something they regret, you know. It's happened a lot in the past. But, um, yeah, it is going to be a great day to be a Chicago Cub fan. And that is for sure. So happy. You know, hopefully the Cubs, we hopefully we do have a good 2024 regular season. But, uh at the same time, getting excited. You know, big league camp, spring training, literally right around the corner. It all begins next month, and then it'll be March, and then the, on March 28th, it will be opening day, and the Chicago Cubs play the very first game of the 2024 regular season on ESPN against the defending World Series champions, the Texas Rangers in Arlington. It will definitely be fun. But yes, guys, oh, so excited to be a Cub fan. And all that, what is going on now? Oh, Cubs pitcher Monkey Stroman just posted something. Uh, I don't know what he posted, but hey, great day to be a Cub fan, right? And I could see that a thousand times more. But um, yes, guys, Cub fans, with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, we there is more and more good news um, to come. But that is all I got for you guys. And I'm very excited about that. Again, Cub fans, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like down at the bottom with that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, <clears throat> excuse me, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you're going to want to do it. We got a lot, excuse me again, a lot more exciting stuff going on on the channel that uh, you guys definitely will not want to miss. Um, yeah, oh, I am so, so ready for the upcoming season to come. And hey, it will get here faster than ever, so don't worry, but. It is, oh, I'm going to say it again. It is a great day to be a Cub fan. But we are getting closer to Cubs baseball. Oh, I, I can't wait. Hopefully, you guys can't wait as well. Well, guys, again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, with all that said, we'll leave it at that. Peace out, guys. Have a great rest of your night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of it. And yeah, have a great rest of your night, y'all.